Hey, what's going on party people and thanks for tuning in to another video. My name is Walter Jeanette, founder and creative director of Create, Inspire and Salt. And on this channel, you can expect to find inspiration and solutions that are gonna help you build a better brand, grow your business, and also help you create a community around the things that you are most passionate about. So again, if this is your first time watching, I just wanted to say thank you. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, also click that bell notification so you can be notified every single time that we post new content to the channel. But let's get into today's video all right so we've been away for a while and i've been doing a lot of exciting and interesting things and this is one of the first videos that i've been uh anxiously awaiting to actually make all right so so basically what we're talking about today is for any of my my djs any of my djs any of my people um that are thinking about trying to get into radio broadcasting you may already be a radio broadcaster um and a lot of us you know during the pandemic had to transition to home and we're building out home studios or you may be a youtuber you may be an entrepreneur you may be a small business owner you may be a pastor preacher minister whatever and you're just trying to figure out how can i take my live production to the next level how can i incorporate the music how can i get that radio feel how can i also stream and bring all of these elements together to get the best presentation possible that's what we're going to talk about today i've actually been working on a new venture i can't really discuss all the details now i'm going to drop that little logo stinger just so you can see See you. but definitely um, dub on the radio is a real thing that is actually in the works. And so we'll be bringing you some more information about that. Um, but one of the things I'm excited about, I'm not necessarily a professional DJ. I do consider myself a professional hype man. Um, I love, you know, entertaining. I love being, I'm not narcissistic, even though I love being the center of attention. I just love people having a great time. And so what I had the opportunity to do a lot of this year and what I still do is you know what we would consider djing you know catering providing the music um and entertainment experience for parties but especially from a virtual standpoint for something like zoom all right so i do actually have a dj controller you know a nice beginner controller on um, the pioneer dj i think this is what the uh, ddj sb3 um and i'll actually switch over a second to my iphone cam so you can see what i have going on you guys already know i have the roadcaster pro all right, and you guys already know I use Ecamm Live um, to go live, also to record all of my videos. If you didn't know, well, now you actually know. But the, what I really wanted to discuss or figure out was how do I bring all of these elements together? So let's say whether I want to do my own private live stream, whether once I get we get the radio station, you know, up and running completely, and we still do some live broadcasting. Or if I'm hosting a private party inside of Zoom, how do I make all of those pieces come together? And that's what I actually wanted to do. So I'm gonna switch over here to my actual um, iPhone cam just so you can see really quickly kind of what I have going on, all right? Let's jump over there. All right, what you see here is a live shot um, from my iPhone cam. You can see I have the Rodecaster Pro, which you guys are familiar, you know, I talk about all the time. And then you see right beside that, I have the controller, the uh, DDJ SB3. I'm actually in the process of working on a better setup for some overhead cam shots. So I'm sorry that this is not as good as it should be, but listen, I just wanted you to get an idea of what we have going on. And so what I love about this controller, um, for those of you who are DJs, or for those of you who don't know anything about exactly how that process works this controller is connected to the computer it's co controlling software that is called serato dj pro it has all of the music um put right in here and i'm able to control everything you know then i got my wheels you know you can hear the scratching and everything going on you know you can hear if i was to play a track right there you know what i'm saying all right so th that's that's the one thing i love about that and 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 a lot of people would say well why not run the uh, controller directly into the Rodecaster Pro and then run all of that into the computer in the Ecamm like you normally would do. And that's one of the things that I wanted to discuss today because typically that's what happens. So what, what I'm gonna do is jump back over. I'm gonna give you a live view of what my desktop looks like right now. If I'm running Ecamm Live, Serato DJ Pro, um, also if I'm inside of a Zoom meeting and then I'm gonna bring up Loopback because that's gonna be the secret we need to bring everything together. So let's jump over there so I can give you a live view of what I'm looking at right now. All right, so right now you see me inside 
of live demo mode. And I wanted to be able to give you an idea of what it is I see so you can see how we bring all of those pieces together. So let's start with the main piece. Again, I'm streaming, I'm recording this video live right now. Um, for those of you who don't know, you can check the link in the description so you can get a free trial to Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is what I use to live stream, but really to record every single video I make. Yes, I could easily record directly into the camera, record directly into my Rodecaster Pro, sync all of those things up. Really don't have time to do that. You guys have missed me, right? So I'm trying to get to a point where I can make content on a quicker basis. And one of the things that allows me to do that is Ecamm Live, but we'll drop some more content about that later so I can give you an idea of everything we have going on here. So, you know, um, we're in, the, again, um, I just completely lost my train of thought. I'm live demo mode. So we're in live demo mode, Ecamm Live. And you also see here, I have Serato DJ Pro. So if you've never seen what most DJs that use Serato of this sort are looking at, this is what it looks like right here. Um, I think on, on this deck, we have one thing playing. On the other deck, we have um, Forever by Fabulous. You know, you just heard that. So if I was actually, you know what I'm saying, hit that cue. You can see how everything is running right there. You know what I'm saying? So let's, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna drop that out. Um, on the other deck, you know what I'm saying? We got that Amy Reed playing, you know. All right, you know, so you can you can kind of see how everything going. This is the library. Um, I also use Beat Source, BPM, Supreme, all those different types of things. That's a whole nother conversation we can get into later. All right, and then you know, you see I have my controls. You know, I can see my audio controls. I can see my um, scenes, overlays, comments. If I was actually live, my camera effects. I usually close this window, but sometimes I like to pull it up just in case I want to change something on the fly. And then um, over here, you see I have my Zoom meeting. All right, I have my Zoom meeting um, and then I have loop back. All right, now what does all of this mean? All right, so let, let's bring all the pieces together. We have the video, which is what Ecamm Live is actually controlling. All right, Ecamm Live, we're taking care of the video. Ecamm Live, I'm also bringing in the Rodecaster Pro. So you can see here, I have the Rodecaster Pro, which is the microphone I'm talking into now, the Rode Pod mic going into the Rodecaster Pro. That's going here. Rodecaster Pro also gives me the ability um, to monitor all of the audio that's happening so i can hear the audio coming from here i can hear the audio coming from any video clips i play i can hear the audio coming from the music i play all in this um i also have the phone connected by um bluetooth so just in case you know i want to actually take phone calls if i'm in a live show or something like that somebody calls in i want to take phone calls i can do that and then the other thing i love about the roadcaster pro is the sound effect so let's just say um you know we bring in the show you know we get the round of applause that's a little louder than I want it to be, but you, but you, but you get that effect. You get that effect. Okay. Um, and so all of that, so we have video, we have audio, but Walt, how do we bring in the DJ? So I have the controller actually connected by USB. I'm a one band man. I'm a one man show. I'm a one man band. Typically in a typical radio station setup, what would happen is there would be a separate DJ setup. There would be a separate DJ setup. That DJ would have their own setup computer where they can monitor that if they, if they so choose. They would run the outputs from that into the radio station mix board. In my case, that's gonna be the Rodecaster Pro. Well, I'm doing this on my own. And the thing is for me to still be able to monitor everything, I have to try to bring all of these pieces together. What not only Ecamm helps me do that, the Rodecaster Pro helps me do that, but what helped me mesh is everything is loopback. This is where loopback comes into play. So what, what you have here is what we call dub on the radio mic. And what I've done is I've taken all of my sources. So I have Ecamm Live as a source. And you say, well, what would you need Ecamm Live as a source for? Let's say if I'm live streaming and I want to play a video clip that I've already installed inside Ecamm, I can do that kind of like this and you'll see the audio media start to move. What's going on party people? Listen, it is 2021 yet somehow we are still doing things the same way we did in 2020, 2019, 2018. All right, so you can see exactly how that worked. Once that video started playing, the audio meter started moving, okay? All right, and then I have the Rodecaster Pro, you can see going in, and then I have Serato DJ Pro. So as you can see right now, when I'm talking, there is no audio coming from Ecamm Live, there is no audio coming from Serato DJ Pro. This is the beautiful thing about Loopback, where it's smart enough to separate all of these devices, and so that makes sure I'm not getting echo, overdub, double playback, and all those different types of things, all right? And so all of this allows me to create one mic that I call dub on the radio mic. All right. So what happens is if I'm going into zoom, 
what I want to do is go into Zoom for all of my DJs or anybody that plays music or any type of videos. You already know you want to make sure you enable original sound. You know, you can go into settings, go into audio settings for Zoom. You want to turn that on so you make sure you it sounds like how it's supposed to sound. And you can see here inside of my microphone, I have the dub on the radio mic selected. That's the mic that I created here. That's the microphone that you see there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play some music, but I want you to be able to look at everything that's going on so you can see all the audio meters. So you know that I'm not lying to you and I'm just making this up. I'm going to mute my microphone, but I'm, I'm going to use my mouse. I want you to follow my mouse so you can see all of these audio meters playing. All right. I'm going to mute the mic now. So you, we might have to worry about some copyright strikes, but I'll deal uh, with that later. Well, you probably could have used a better example, but listen, I'm just trying to get this done. All right. So you were able to see all of the audio meters moving respectively. So, so, you know, I'm not lying. It's not like I'm playing this through the microphone or anything like that. Everything is coming out clear. Same thing. I'm going to mute the mic again, and I'm going to play the audio, the movie clip. So you can see the same thing. Now that audio should be coming from Ecamm. No audio should be coming from the Rodecaster Pro. No audio should be coming from Serato. DJ Pro, it should only be coming from Ecamm. So let's do that now. I'm gonna mute the mic again. What's going on, party people? Listen, it is 2021, yet somehow we are still doing things the same way we did in 2020, 2019, 2018, and for some of us, 2010. Well, what are you talking about? Too many people are focused on being an influencer. You have not. All right. So again, you can see that. And I know somebody may ask the question, okay, well, when you were playing the music, you had this going on over here. When, when you're doing tutorials and things like this, I'm recording. So I still need to be able to bring in the audio coming from um, the Serato DJ Pro software. In order to do that, um, for those of you who don't know this, you got to go into the preferences, into the settings and that program window is getting on my nerves. You have to make sure that you make the audio available to other applications. Those of you that use audio, that use Ecamm extensively, you may ask why not use system audio? I don't like system audio when doing stuff like this because it gets crazy. It, it defeats the purpose of me having loop back. I, I'm not sure what it is um, about the way the, the system, all the audio routing is built in when it comes to Ecamm because Ecamm, you have like Ecamm live app outputs and when, when you're dealing with Mac, it, it just gets weird. So I don't install it. I had it installed before, but it caused issues when I was trying to do all these complicated setups. So I leave that alone and I kind of just do it the simple way and make it make sense. I make that digital audio available and I go in and add the additional Serato virtual audio source, which you actually see here. So when I play the music, you're going to see that coming in and I'll do that again here. Uh, we'll just play the A. Marie song this time. So now you see I have the audio coming from the Serato Virtual Audio and it's not conflicting with the audio I have coming from the Rodecaster Pro. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I love about that. You know, all right. All right, so this is how I've pretty much been able to bring all of this together. I know I may get a lot of questions. I have no problem being able to answer those. You know, I didn't have, you know, I didn't want to take up too much time because there are a lot of different pieces here. I didn't want to take up too much time of going into depth about, okay, uh, live demo mode at Ecamm Live. You know, how does all of this work? Serato DJ Pro, because again, I don't consider myself to be a professional DJ. I do have some insight, some knowledge on that. Um, but like I said, those are offline conversations we can have. You know, how did this actually work with Zoom? How does this work with Lubeck? I just wanted to give you an inside look of everything that goes into how we get this set up and some of the things that you can expect to actually come when we actually get this dub on the radio started all right Hey, so again, I hope that you were able to find some kind of value out of that video. Again, I know that was a lot of information that I tried to crunch into a very small time period. And still, you know, it went probably longer than I would necessarily like it to. But again, if nothing else is going to provoke conversation, they're going to prompt you to ask some questions that I hope, hopefully have an answer to. And that's one of the things I'm doing, you know, with YouTube, trying to create a community around the things that you're most passionate about. And the best way we can do that is to have a conversation 
conversation. So again, if this was your first time watching one of my videos, I just wanted to say thank you. Again, if you haven't done so already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click that bell notification so you can be notified every single time that I post new content to the channel. But until next time, you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.